fell in love with music before I was born. I always think when, uh, when I was at my mom's stomach, you know, I felt like I've been hearing it, you know. So I've been born loving it. Queensbridge is home is um, what raised me. Great neighborhood, great history, music, people, sports. Came to Queensbridge and grew up there and brought kids up there. And my home where I grew up. I still have my head up high represented though, no question. My approach to music changed over time because music has changed over time. The ways of making it change from analog to digital to being able to record an album on your cell phone now, it's different now. I push myself um, to, to do my best all the time, but then I realized there are times when I thought I was pushing myself when I was really being lazy. I'm at my worst when I don't care, you know, when I am just don't want to be bothered, when I'm just happy um, being at home and not really in a mood to work. And then usually I get a call by a great artist to do a feature and it winds up not happening because I can't write and I, the stuff I'm writing it don't, it don't come out right. You know, when, I'm, when I get my real, real at-home vibe, don't ask me to make records. <laughs> I feel most inspired after I've heard, like, some great records, listening to people's albums and seeing new stuff happen, new artists come about. I want them to experience hip-hop music from a dude who's been in it for a long time and can still impact the masses because the people are still interested. But I think they can hear my passion. and. That's what keeps me going.